Welcome back to Virtual Reality. My name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo the VR. Today I have another VR hardware accessory video for you. Um, I received three Vive Tracker, uh, this, uh, this one here, and the Facial Tracker. So it can, you have full body tracking and also your face is recognized uh, when you do like, like this <laughs> uh, or, or whatever. And I will show you an unboxing, a setup and how it works with the games. Uh, I did it, I bought it for myself, so this video is not sponsored by HTC. Uh, yeah, we will see. You can find everything about VR and AR on this channel. Thanks to my sponsors, Woodgirls VR, Opera Money Events, Peter Vaz, My Virtual Escape and Adams Group. Let's have some fun with the video and let's go! Okay, let's do a quick unboxing. There's nothing very special inside. Just uh, you can see here, here's the Vive Tracker 3. I will put all the stuff here on the side so I can uh, show it to you here. So it's in a small plastic bag. Here we go. It's really smaller than the older ones. Really cool. And it has this button here has USB-C and of course the pogo pins and the mounting hole. It's uh, completely compatible to all the old VR equipment that we have. So yeah, so sweet, <laughs> so sweet. And then of course we have a, a user guide here. I will show it to you. Give me a second, a lot of stuff here. Safety and warranty regulatory guide. Um, HTC Vive product and accessories limited warranty and here is the uh, quick start guide. It says yeah you will have to connect it to the PC and then um, synchronize it. Uh, but I will show it to you uh, later in the video how, how you can synchronize that of course. And then we have um, additional equipment here. So first I will open this small bag here for you. Yeah. This is the dongle. <laughs> nice, right? This is the, the small dongle. And you will connect it to, give me a second, this part here and this part. So, um, this is the charging, the, the data and the charging cable. It's USB C, I would say one meter. Um, with this you can charge the Vive Tracker. You, you will put it here in the USB-C like this. And you can attach the USB dongle. You will put this in a PC and here you will put the dongle inside like this. And then this is wireless connected to your Vive Tracker. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, guys. Nothing more is inside here, but now, of course, you want to see the facial tracker. Let's unbox it. Yeah. Holy shit. So here we also have uh, uh, some guides. Give me a second. So the quick start guide is here. Then we have the safety and regulatory guide and the limited warranty. Damn! <laughs> and here's the, the quick start guide. So uh, I'm not uh, really sure how that works with the Vive Pro. So uh, I think we have to remove the face gasket and then glue it under the Vive Pro. We will see. I will uh, show it to you as soon as I Mount it on the Vive Pro. And here's the, the tracker. Here it comes. Of course a small cable because it will be directly connected to the Vive Pro. Here is it. Here is it. <laughs> Look at this. Sweet. And here are the cameras. They are covered with some plastic stuff. I will have to remove it. Yeah, and here we'll glue it with a sticker here under the Vive Pro. 
looks pretty cool. Uh, here's the Vive Pro, by the way. <laughs> so it w I hope you can see it now. It will look like, like this here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, later uh, I will look like this. <laughs> I think so. So cool, right? That's pretty cool. Yeah. I think let's mount it to the Vive Pro now and then set it up and see how it works. Okay guys, before we really start with that, I just wanted to show you the size difference of three trackers. And look at this here. We have, uh, here is the Vive Tracker 1, this is the Vive Tracker 3 and this is the Tundra Tracker. Look, look at the size. It's, the Tundra Tracker is so much smaller. It's just great. It's just great. Look at this. <laughs> Crazy, right? <laughs> Crazy. I mean, the Vive Tracker 3 is much smaller. I, I can definitely confirm that. And this one is really big. But, but the Tundra Tracker, look at this tiny device. So cool. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, um, the sizes. And uh, what I uh, can also confirm is that um, we, we have the equipment that, for example, the Hyperblaster and the track straps. Um, you can mount that here on your feet or uh, on your arms or wherever you want. And for the, for the first Vive Tracker, uh, we could just screw, this is the Vive Tracker 1. Uh, we can just screw it here and it's attached. But um, the cool thing is that the Vive Tracker 3 also have the same stuff here. We can just use all the old equipment and then mount it here and then we have it on our hands and then it, it holds. <laughs> you see that? So cool. And also on your feet, of course, wherever you want that. Just use the screw like this. And it also works with the uh, official equipment here with the pogo pins. Just put it like here and then use the screw. Give me a second. Here you go, then the pogo pins are connected and here we have our Hyper Blaster. <laughs> nice, with the Vive Tracker 3. And when you compare it here, it's, it's really smaller. It's really smaller. See that? <laughs> nice, and it works. You can just attach it anywhere on any old equipment and that's pretty cool. And um, the Tundra Tracker will also have a exchangeable plate here where you can uh, mount it uh, for the for all the stuff here uh, but this is a prototype of the Tundra Tracker. It will look a little bit different in the final version. Yeah so that's it and then now let's set up the Vive trackers and the face trackers. Okay guys and here I already attached the facial tracker to the Vive Pro. As you can see it's glued here at the bottom of the Vive Pro, uh, there are two holes. You can put the pins inside and then glue with the two stickers. And there is a small cable holder. Uh, it, it will connect or just clip it into the vent openings here. And then the cable is here. You see that here from the facial tracker. Then, of course, I remove the face foam first and then you have to remove this little plastic piece here. You see that? And then you have access to the USB-C port here. And here you can see that. There is the port. Push it inside here. Make sure the cable is at the outside. And then, yeah, push it back. Then connect the foam again like this here and voila we have the face tracker see that <laughs> awesome and now it can scan my face hopefully <laughs> i will i will try it uh, now uh, together with um, also you will see the, the vive tracker in action and the facial tracker so let's see okay guys here i am in my play space and I have the three Vive trackers here. Uh, the first one I already mounted on my left feet with a track strap. 
and then for the right feet I just mount it here on another track strap just screw it here like this put it on your feet here and then just tighten it here make sure the, the tracker is on the, in the middle of your feet like this and then uh, I have another thing here this is uh, a small belt I prepared that and then just screw it here like this and then just you can also of course do it on your belt look at this <laughs> here my waist is tracked and my feet as well <laughs> and my hands of course uh, also because I have the uh, controllers here and my head of course as well look at this <laughs> crazy right yeah and now uh, just uh, we we just connect everything and steam VR and then let's go okay guys now let's talk about the setup of the vibe tracker so uh, I have three vibe trackers now and um, I already set up the Vive Pro. You can also do that with all Lighthouse uh, systems, the Vive 1, Vive Pro, Vive I, Pimax, Valve Index, all the Lighthouse settings. I'm talking about the Vive Tracker. The facial tracking only works with the Vive Pro and the Vive Pro I, okay? But we are talking about the full body tracking with Vive Trackers now. So now there's you have to connect the three cables that I showed you at the unboxing and the three dongles to the PC. Three at the same time because every Vive Tracker needs one dongle, okay? So if you have three Vive Trackers, three dongles. Connect them to your PC, then it will install some drivers. Then of course your, your headset, your VR headset has to be set up um, perfectly, switch on or start Steam VR. then make sure everything is connected. I uh, connected the uh, Valve Index controllers with the Vive Pro, but you can also connect all the other controllers, the Vive ones or whatever. And then if you want to connect, I, give me a second, I will um, just screw the, from my hip, hips, here. This, is, this one is still not connected. And what you're gonna do is go to devices and then connect controllers sorry everything is in German here and then but here click on this I want to connect another type of controllers and then go for HTC Vive Tracker here and then it says hold the button here and then hold it again until the blue light blinks like this and then it should oh <laughs> Let, let's try that again oh here it is here it is now it's green I, it's, it's a little bit hard to see. It, it's definitely green now. <laughs> and uh, now click on ready. And now you have to attach the single trackers to the right position on your body. That means go here again on devices um, and then um, vi uh, select Vive controllers. And then here uh, the last point Vive tracker. And then you see I already connected two of the trackers to my feet. I already have them on my feet here. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, um, so um, the first one that I connected was left feet. The second one, oh, sorry, uh, the other way. Right feet, then left feet. And this is the new one that we just connected here and that it says on your waist, okay? It's very important that you connect the right tracker, the, the correct tracker to the correct position on your body. Otherwise, it will be totally messed up inside the game. Okay, now it's right, uh, uh, right feet, left feet and waist. Normally, you could uh, say tr uh, tracker identify and no normally it should blink here or do it, but it doesn't do that. Perhaps this is still a bug. I don't know. Normally, you can do uh, to identify but if it doesn't work to identify then do it one after another just connect the first one to the right feet the left uh, the next one to the left feet and the third one to the uh, waist or whatever so that's it you see that all the 
trackers are connected here and now we can just start the game right <laughs> okay guys welcome to vr chat and as you can see here yeah, i can dance around here woo, 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 woo. <laughs> and also my waist look at this yeah 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 can, can you see that yeah <laughs> and and it has no delay it's absolutely perfect there's no problems with the tracking whatever i turn around look at this even in this way just no problems and you can also spin the feet look at this just works in every position you can uh, imagine <laughs> la 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 <laughs> Na 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 na, do 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 do. <laughs> it's crazy, right? Really crazy. And you can so lay down here. You can. Uh, uh. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> it just works. It just works, and that's so absolutely cool. I I love that. And it's totally accurate, and the setup is so easy and. Yeah, you can just have fun with that. But I have to say that I, I also have the Tundra tracker, but I cannot try it for now because I don't have the driver. Um, but all, everything what I can say is that the Vive Tracker 3 are much lighter than the others. It's so cool. It feels really, I, I cannot feel them on my feet because they are really small and light. That's great. The old ones, uh, I had some problems with that. They were heavy and they fell off. But these ones are really cool. So I cannot absolutely not complain about them. They work, but you know they are really expensive. <laughs> so guys, that's it for the woo, for the full body tracking. Uh, I, I will also show you the uh, face tracking, but this does not work with VRChat for now. We will have to use a demo app for that. So let's go in there. Okay, guys, to set up the face tracking, we need several software. For the Vive Tracker, we can just connect them. Everything works with Steam VR. But for the face tracker, we need the software. So the first thing is, of course, uh, have this connected and it uh, should have a green light here. So everything is fine. And then you have to download two things. To try it first, th this is an MSI installer, Vive SR AnyPill installer, whatever. You can find all the links to that in the description that comes with the facial tracker. So just download this one and just install it. Click on continue, continue, exit. Nothing else to configure. And then you have this tool here running in the background. Yeah, it uh, it's in the in the taskbar right be, uh, beside your clock. And then you can right click and say about, and then you get the information. So we have runtime version 1320, uh, runtime public. And uh, you see there is no eye tracking camera connected because I don't have the Vive Pro Eye, I have the Vive Pro. Normally here there would uh, say something about the eye tracking, but it recognized the lip camera. So this, this guy here, this small guy here so it's working it's ready for action <laughs> and it has the version 50100 just click on ok and it will stay in the background don't close this app so if you want to try it now the problem is there are still no games that uh, support the facial tracking because the developer have to integrate it into their games with the service development kit yeah okay so but in the service development kit, the link, the link is also in the description here. Just download it, go here, go to SDK, Unity, Face Gym. And there, there is a demo software where you can try the facial tracking. And it looks like this here. Um, I will try it for you now. And then we can see how good is the facial tracking uh, for real. We, we will see that now. Okay, guys, welcome to the face tracking. <laughs> so as you can see, uh, that works really good. I can even uh, uh, show you my tongue. 
<laughs> Crazy. <laughs> also, it, it really works without any latency. It, it's just perfect. You can see that. <laughs> so it can recognize my complete face and translate it into the character. Of course, the eyes are closed because I don't have the Vive Pro eye. I have no eye tracking here, but ah, the face tracking runs awesome. <laughs> really awesome. So, yeah. I would say all of the tests are really cool with the Vive Tracker 3 and the facial tracking. Really awesome. And uh, yeah, let's go back to the studio and talk about it. <laughs> okay, guys, and here we are in the conclusion. So we have to talk about two different things, the how it works and the price. So the technique of this stuff, the the quality and the setup is really good. It's, it's nearly perfect. It's so easy to set it up. It's just, it feels like good quality and it, it's just very easy to set up. Just mount it, just connect it via Bluetooth, the dongles and then set the correct position and it works forever. Um, and it really works good. And you can connect it to all the Lighthouse systems like the Valve Index, Pimax, uh, Vive Pro, Vive, Vive Pro I, Vive Cosmos Elite, well, Pimax, I already said that, whatever. And it works. Even with the Base Stations 1. I use the Base Stations 1 and um, it works. Of course, with the second um, generation as well. So for the fun functionality, it's just really perfect. I, I don't talk about the Tundra Tracker. They are even smaller and even cheaper. But I, I have to try them first. But for everybody who wants really good quality and perfection in tracking, they are really good, the Vive Tracker. But now let's talk about the price. 130 bucks. In Germany it's uh, available, uh, in Europe, but I, I have no idea when it will be available in US. I think March 24 or whatever. And then it will cost 130 bucks for one Vive Tracker. And that's too expensive. I... I hoped when it was announced that one would be like 50 bucks, but it's not. But we, uh, we, we also have to notice that the Tundra Tracker are 94 bucks per Tracker and you also have to buy the dongles for the Tundra Tracker and they are sold separately. So you will pay 94 dollars plus the dongle. And then the Tundra Tracker are not much cheaper than the Vive Tracker, okay? But they are smaller. <laughs> they are even smaller, but I will try them as soon as possible. For now, this is the best quality you can have for the um, full body tracking and I, I can recommend it. If money, if you don't care about the money, go for it. It's perfect. You can play VR chat. It's just amazing to swing your waist and your feet. You need three trackers for waist tracking uh, and feet. And then it's great. I can totally recommend it. Then the facial tracking. It's the same price and it's, all, it's the same what I can tell you. The quality is perfect. It works so good. There's no delay. It recognizes all of my face stuff. It's just cool and it's so easy to set up, really. It's really easy to set up so, and the quality is awesome. But also the price, 130 bucks. And this is, on, I would say, only face tracking. There's, this is not an ultra blasting feature that will re revolution the, the VR world. It's just face tracking. And for this, 130 bucks is a lot is a lot. I mean, you, you, you can have a lot of fun when you play multiplayer games with that, but be careful, I will tell you. Um, and then it will be a much bigger immersion. There are three things that you have to consider and that's very important. First thing is the price. It's very expensive. Second, it's only available for the Vive Pro and Vive Pro i. It does not work with any other headset. 
not even the first wife, okay? This, the third thing is, be careful. For now, it doesn't work with any app, only the demo app. So you cannot just play VR chat or whatever at the time I record this video. Later, of course, I think VR chat and all the other cool apps will be supported as soon as the developer included that in their games. But for now, you cannot really do something with that. And that's very important when you buy it. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. But I think later it will be a lot of fun, to be honest. So. To come uh, to a final conclusion about the Vive Tracker and the facial tracking, it's absolutely perfect quality. The setup is so easy and it works really absolutely perfect. But it's too expensive. <laughs> it's too expensive. That's what I say. That's what I can say. So guys, if you like to support me and see my videos earlier and behind the scenes videos, one buck per month via Patreon or YouTube membership, you can find the link in the description below. And you can also find the link to all this stuff here in the description below. That would be really awesome. Thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya.